This is yet another question that involves plug points into equations. This time we are still working with function notation, but we are given the value of x. And this is the hardest thing about function notation is knowing whether you're being given x or being asked for x. And the reason I know I'm given x is look, look where that zero is. It's in place of the x that would be next to the f there. So they're telling us input zero for x, see what you get. So we're gonna do 270 times 0.1 to the zero. Now you have a calculator, so you can actually start putting all this stuff in, but you really don't need one because everything to the zero power is one. This is fundamental to math. This is something you need to know, need to memorize. So even though you have the calculator, you really will need it in other places where it might be more about the conceptual ideas rather than being able to calculate something. So the rest is easy, hopefully too. 270 times one is just 270. So that is our answer. That is our value for f of x when f is zero or x is zero. So if we were writing it correctly, it would look like this. Now, one other thing I'll add is that if you understand how this kind of exponential equation is built, you probably knew that 270 was going to be the answer without going through all these steps because the um, kind of starting value, the y-intercept, is represented by this portion that's outside the parentheses when we have a basic exponential. Now, the reason I wouldn't just jump to that, though, is the SAT is really good at adding these little twists. Maybe they mess with the exponent in some way. Maybe there's an extra little piece attached. None of that is happening here, but I have seen questions where that does happen. So if you're asked to plug in a zero, just plug it in. It doesn't really take long, and you can prove your answer with concrete math rather than this conceptual thinking, which sometimes leads us into traps.